that was awful. Um, it wasn't just awful, was it? It was shite. It was absolute shite. From start to finish, they were better than us. You know, it was 10, 15 minutes in, I was thinking, we barely got our own half here. They were just, they battered us. From the first whistle to the last whistle, Everton battered us. Um, they were really good. They were moving the ball about. Every time you see Andre Gomez, he looks a little bit more like Perlo. And today, he played like Perlo. Um, nobody got near him. But to be fair, whenever we did, it was half-hearted and he just skinned them anyway. But we were just shocking. The first goal was, it was coming, wasn't it? It was, they, Roberto did that good save from Davies at the back post before they scored. Um, I actually thought Bernard messed it up initially because he, it was a really good run. Lovely ball by Walcott. I think it was Walcott. And I thought he was away hit it, but he didn't. And he turned away from the goal and thought, way, uh, two defenders got back. But you know what, he skinned them both and then scored from a ridiculous angle. Um, I'll need to see it back, but how can a keeper get beat from that angle? He came out, how's he got beaten? I don't, like, from where I was, it's, you couldn't see Bernard on the ball because Roberto was going towards him and suddenly the ball just appeared in the back of the net. You fucking, where's that come from? It's, um, he's a really funny one, Roberto. It was really strange. He doesn't look like a goalkeeper. It's almost like we've got someone from the Mexican cartel in goal. Um, his distribution, it's just awful. It's so slow. Even you can see Rice and Diop moaning at him constantly because he just wouldn't pass. He wouldn't, but he made some really good saves. He stopped it being embarrassing. He stopped Everton scoring five or six, which they deserve to score more than two anyway. Um, they absolutely deserve to score more than two today, Everton. They, they were that good, we were that bad. But it was just a shambles. It really was an absolute shambles of our performance. Couldn't string any passes together. Nobody wanted the ball. And when they did want it, they didn't get it because the passes were shite. Uh, and when they did get it, if someone did get the ball, they then gave it away. There was no... They wanted it more. I hate I hate the phrase they wanted it more because I think that should never be the case, okay? It should never ever be the case. But it was. It really was. They were just better than us. They wanted it more. They were more efficient. Their players were better than our players. I thought Rice played well up until about the 90th minute. Um, and then he decided to stand still. Well, he got shrugged off, didn't he? I think it's because one tiredness. And two, um, he's on a booking. So the, what he had to do there, he, he had to bring one of the players down, which was, would have been a yellow car, so he would have got sent off. So he's had to stand, stand off. Um, but what finished by Sigurdsson. Um, the thing is, they deserved it. Walcott almost scored a banger. Um, they had two goals disallowed. Um, Davies had that chance in the first half. Iwobi had that chance, good save from Roberto. But just fucking awful. Sam, Sam Basnogras was shite again and uh, he got taken off at half time and rightly so. Um, he was awful. He was the worst player in the first half. Uh, that's maybe going lenient on Lanzini and Fornals because they were awful. They were also really bad. But they didn't cost 40 million. Billy P. Anderson did. He was shit. I'm glad he went off. The thing is, when I saw the lineup, saw no Yarmolenko, I thought, well, there goes our goal threat. Because that's what he is. He is our biggest goal threat, right? And you've seen it today. Anderson had a shooting opportunity 20 yards out, didn't take it. For now, to be fair, in the second half, before he went off, I thought for now, did okay. He was getting some shots and he had that half volley, he, he hit quick, which wasn't too bad for our best effort of the game. Um, no cunt wants to shoot. It's, you're not going to win if you don't shoot. We weren't shooting. I'd, every time Everton went forward though, there was a shot at the end of it, they were hitting them. All directions, they were shooting in the first half. Bernard, Awobi, Walcott, they were having efforts from 20 yards and stuff testing Roberto Pick that was an easy game for Pickford he had that save to make from um, Hogbonna but apart from that all he did was time waste and 
why not? Um, but yeah, Anderson, rubbish. Lanzini, rubbish. Pernal's rubbish. Noble was not good today either. He was um, well below his best. And when Noble doesn't turn up, well, West Ham will turn up. We're missing Antonio so much. It's ridiculous how much we're missing him. Um, Yarmolenko, we missed him in the first half because every time we went forward, there's no confidence in the fans. There's no confidence in the players. You didn't feel like we were ever going to score. We could have played another 45 minutes today. Still not scored. And this is a team that's lost four on the bounce and has a manager hanging on by a thread. It's, it's just really disappointing, to be honest with you, because this season there's an opportunity there for a the team to get into the top six. And you know, Pellegrini he's got to start earning his money at some point, okay? He's got to start doing something because he's paid eight million eight million pounds a year he's paid. He's backed with the his backroom staff is at the club as well, so he's got his the people he wants in the places he wants them we're not seeing results though and it's not just the results it's the performances now I I'm not saying I want Pellegrini to go with that I'm not saying that I don't want Pellegrini to go but we need a bit more from him um, I wasn't that confident today if you watch the preview you know I thought it, I thought it would have been a draw but I didn't expect that I didn't expect how bad that was. That was our worst performance of the season, I think, actually. Um, it was just awful. I mean, Rice came over at the end to apologise and I felt a bit sorry for him because I did think he was one of the ones putting in the effort and the rest of them. No responsibility on that pitch. None. I thought Jack Wilshire, to be fair, when Wilshire came on, I thought he looked good. I thought he had a few decent twists and turns and I thought he looked alright actually but changes have got to be made for the Sheffield United game it's Anderson for me uh, we'll speak about it in the preview my opinion might change between now and then I might calm down or whatever but we've got to do something Sebastian Allier last season played for Frankfurt in a front three with Rabic and Jovic Kostic on the left one of the most prolific teams in European football. The, the style of play, the goals they were scoring, plaudits everywhere. That's why he cost 45 million. That's why Jovic got his move to Real Madrid. Rebic has got his move as well. They all got their mon big money transfers off the back of it. And he's now at West Ham, completely isolated up front, getting the ball booted up to him. And he's winning most of them in the air. But the thing is, there's nobody there supporting him nobody there to get the second ball and you, you can see him getting frustrated you can see him getting uh, animated and that because he's getting no service um, I, I actually came on did a little bit of hustling and bustling but didn't really get much opportunities um, there was another sub wasn't there it was Jan Malenko. he should have it was disappointing not to see him start. I'm hoping he was left out because he had a knock or something from international because, um, well, you can't drop him, can you? He's the first name on the team sheet at the minute, Yarmolenko. But he wasn't great when he came on. But he, he adds that edge, though. He just had him on the pitch. When he got the ball, he thought, here we go. We're going to do something here. We didn't have that in the first half. But anyway, I'm going to shut up now. I think I'm going in the right direction. Um, I'm going to head home in a bit. But... What a fucking shambles, eh? What a fucking shambles.